her massages. So this is where I'm going to be doing your, ex uh, I wouldn't say extended then. Sorry, I'm tired. You're my last one and it, it's like half past 11 at night. And I'm so shattered at the moment. But I'm going to get this out for you before I go to bed. So, um, I'm going to be reading from April the 17th to April the 24th. We do have the Libra full moon energies at the moment as well. Which has got a lot of like karma ties to it and things like that. And things that we need to shift karmically and things like that. Um, these will be extended. So, you can find the Vimeo link to this particular reading uh, in the description, description box below. Sorry, my words aren't coming out. And... If you would like to join us on the Patreon site where the community is starting to build up a little bit, um, I'm going to be putting all, you'll have open access to everything on there. So you can check your soul, moon rising and your Venus, everything will be uploaded onto Patreon. So I'm going to dive straight in for Sagittarius, April 17th to April 24th. What is going on for my Sagis? King of Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. Maybe dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, but there's also a need, the king of air is very communicative is very uh, very professional so you could be dealing with professionals you know speak your mind with confidence seek out professional advice balance mental and emotional considerations for so thinking things through carefully before acting and you know having good communication skills and sitting down in conversations that type of energy seems to be the overall energy for this week What's crossing that is to end a bad situation, the ten of air. So the end of a difficult situation, embrace the change and expect things to get better now, even recovery from addictions. You know, so there could be codependency, there could be, because there's a lot of area already, it could be like addictions to overthinking, you know, that type of thing, in the battles of your own mind. So the challenge is to kind of like put that to bed. Why is it coming right now? We've got the eight of air. There's a lot of area. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. Um, an illusion of being trapped, a lack of self-confidence, afraid to take the action. The eight of air is like anxiety. You know, it's it can also be in this deck, you know, feeling like the world's against you. You know. But I feel like it's more of a mental, like a thought concept thing that's going on at the moment. So maybe you're like kind of wearing a brave face. That can only last for so long with those edges. Does you no good. In the recent past, we've got the strength card, sign of Leo. You may have Leo in chart, or you may have been dealing with a Leo. Um, is the magic number 11, though. I do like that. You know, great inner strength, release harsh judgments, forgiveness and compassion. So maybe you've been, like, kind of releasing judgments towards yourself and towards other people. Perfect time to do it as well with the Libra full moon. Um, you know, finding that you've got some kind of inner strength coming to the surface. Um you know, taming that inner beast, but, you know, the beast is asleep. You can still work it up whenever you need to. Um, but it's about having forgiveness, being, forgi being forgiving towards yourself as well, because sometimes we put ourselves in these situations, you know, the Ten of Swords situations, and maybe there's a need for a bit of compassion towards yourself as well, because you do have the balanced mental and emotional considerations. So being compassionate, rest in the mind, that's what I wanted to say. I feel like you... you there needs to be a pause button hit on the mound. But at present, we've got the four of fire. My 11-11 card. Contentment, peace and abundance. A happy home life. The successful completion of a project. You know, so I do feel like you are successfully completing a project. Like it is completing. Because you've got this here as well. The end of a crappy situation. The end of a difficult situation. You know, it's time to move in new directions. And the way that you're manifesting things. The four of fire. And it is your element. So in the near future, we've got the Hermit. So you may feel like you, you could be dealing with a Virgo. Or you may feel like you, there's a need to kind of go into Hermit mode. And that's not a bad thing. That's not fully isolating yourself. But the Hermit goes into self-isolation whilst he does the work. You know, he's got the spiritual lantern. He's taking the light into the darkness. Spending time in quiet meditation, spiritual teaching, self-discovery. So I do feel like you are on a journey of self-discovery. And in that, there's, there's, a, there's a need to focus on compassion and forgiveness uh, with yourself and other people in order to kind of move you forward. You know, there could even be apologies needed or apologies needed to be given, you know. Um, don't wait for apologies, though. It's always nice if you do get one, but... You know, and if you feel like you need to apologise, then do it. Perfect time to do it. Libra full moon. Your power is the free of water. It's to be happy. 
you know, a celebration, a wedding, graduation, or even a birth announcement. They need to have more fun. But your power is the three of cups. It's to be happy. It's to celebrate life. It's to celebrate your own little achievements as you move forward. Goals and inspirations, aspirations. The outside influence to that is the four of air. Take time to rest or even a vacation. Allow more time before making decisions and meditation will provide answers. See, all your cards are kind of not forcing you inwards, but I feel like the energy that's surrounding you at the moment, Sag, is um, a need to go inwards and do the inner work. So maybe you've already started this. Maybe you've already started this like inner work journey. But I like it because it's all about you. It's all about how you can change things. So I feel like you're going through some kind of like birthing of a new you. Out of the shadows, into the light. In the hopes and fears position, we've got the two of water. The two of cups. So there may be someone from the past that you kind of do want back. A relationship that continues to grow closer. Forgiveness. The positive resolution of a conflict. If it's not a relationship, it could be like a conflict that you've had with someone from the past. So maybe you want to reach out to them or they want to reach out to you. Maybe there's, there's definitely... I've got forgiveness again, you know. Maybe there is a need to forgive the past, you know, and kind of take the lessons that's been learned and move on from that. Um, also, you know, you could be, I kind of want to say, don't punish yourself. Don't continuously punish yourself because you're not living in that energy anymore. So there, there you can be a bit compassionate towards yourself as well. But there's definitely like the need to kind of... Have some kind of positive resolution after after all of this. And your outcome is renewal. Review and evaluate a favourable assessment of the facts. It is time to move in a new direction. So yes, Sag, there could be someone coming from, back from the past. Or it could be like a, a family member, um, an ex-partner, a friendship. You know, a friendship that's coming back around. I do feel like you're reviewing and evaluating things in life and people and yourself and what could have changed and things like that. But sometimes there's no point in staying there because what shoulda, woulda, coulda. Doesn't matter now because you're not in it. Um, so the king of air as to why it's going around. I'm using my holographic cards. I love these. The full card. You know, so there could be adventures. There could be like vacations, that type of thing. Holidays. I'm you. I'm you. I'm going to say I'm Ukrainian. I'm, I'm British. <laughs> so we say holidays, not vacations. Um, the full card, you know, packing a bag. Sometimes we need to get away for a little bit, you know. But it's also about having the, um, the leap of faith, taking the risks that you need to take, especially in healing. So if you've got to ask for healing, if you've got to ask for someone for help, that's a massive accomplishment, really, because a lot of people struggle asking for help, you know. So if you've done that, pat on the back. Ten of air, end of a bad situation, the five of pentacles. If you've got to freeze yourself out or isolate yourself from someone else's energies in order to heal, then do it. The challenge could be, though, that you're feeling isolated, you're feeling blocked. So someone could have actually blocked you and it's a bit hard to forgive and sort things out if you're blocked. You know, that's our venture. So why is it coming around? We've got the eight of air. So we do have some like, anxiety or overthinking. The ace of pentacles in reverse. I don't know why, but I feel like some massages, it's like medication and stuff as well. So there could be like a counselling vibe or a doctor, that type of energy. Um, the ace of pentacles. So maybe you're kind of not feeling very safe and secure at the moment, but you're working towards it and that's okay. In the recent past, you have had to gain your strength back. We've got the two of wands. So maybe you have put a distance between yourself and people that kind of aren't very good for you. And the four of fire at present, we've got the six of pentacles. Gifts of money, time and effort. You know, what you put, like kind of bringing people in who are going to gift you with the same amount of time and effort that you're willing to put into situations. But it's also about bringing balance back into your life. Peace, love, harmony and balance, especially with the 1111 card. Maybe that's what you're trying to manifest. Um, we do have the hermit going forward, sign of Virgo, spending time in quiet meditation, self-discovery, spiritual teaching. The page of wands. So yeah, again, I feel like you're going through like a rebirth. You know, your energy. Something new and exciting. But it comes after a period of self-reflection. Your power is the three of cups. It's to be happy. Then we've got the hermit card. 
you know, and again, you've got that spiritual lantern. You've got that. You're not going into a dark tunnel now this time. This time you've got that spiritual lantern. So each step you take forward, it may be dark, but each step forward is going to be illuminated until you get to the end of that tunnel and you know where you're going. The outside influence to that is rest. Align more time before making decisions. Think things through properly before doing anything. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles, slow it down. Don't be in foot pulsive. Don't rush in without thinking. The Knight of Pentacles gets further because he thinks things through. We've got the two of water in the hopes position. The hangman. So there could be some kind of delay or you could be delaying something. They could be delaying something. But it's about gaining more of a perspective on things. We've got the five of cups in reverse. See, no longer looking back over regrets. If you've got something to sort, sort it. You know, life's too short. Your outcome is strength. Again, that Leo energy. Taming that fight or flight. Taming that inner beast. You know, but using that beast when it needs to be assertive and needs to push you forward. And we've got the tower card in reverse. So you make you the tower you've already been through the tower. This is the comeback after the tower. You know, so maybe you were the tower. But it, it's like kind of not having to relive that tower. Maybe that's why I'm saying don't be impulsive. Because I don't want you to go through another tower moment. The eight of cups. You know, it's time to emotionally move forward. The search for something meaningful. The King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy there. You may be going towards Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But the King of Pentacles invest wisely. Money, time and effort. You know, so this could be a personal. This could be you. You wanting to invest like more carefully in where you've invested in, in the past. So if this is where I leave you, I'll see you next week. And if I'm seeing you on the extended, I'll meet you off there now. Bye.